What's up guys, this is Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. Hey, um, we are going to be installing this Never Leak uh, metal wall mount hose reel. Um, I went with this um, just because it's inexpensive. I'm gonna try it out, we'll see how it works. Um, it's a lot less expensive than doing something crazy fancy. And you know, it's what I could afford at the time. So this is kind of where it's gonna be sitting. I haven't fully decided on whether or not it's gonna go here or on the brick. I'm not sure. This is what it looks like. Out of the box. I'm gonna get all the tools required for the install and we're gonna get right into it. All right guys, the first step is we're gonna install the handle real quick. So you're just gonna need a regular Phillips head screwdriver. So the side it came threaded into was the wrong side. Go figure. There you go. The handle. So one neat little thing about this one is it's got a little template right here. So we're going to cut out that template and we're going to use that to drill the holes. All right guys, so what I got going on here is I taped this up where I want it. So now we're gonna take a 3 8 uh, masonry drill bit and I'm gonna drill the holes, okay? Um, I'll probably just speed it up just so you're not bored with this. Uh, all right, here we go.
but I'm gonna have to get a new bit for these last two. But these two up here, those two ends, those worked great because I mean, they're in between the bricks. So it drills through that stuff super easy. So I'm gonna end up getting a new bit. This one's just uh, getting a little dull here. And then we're gonna get those bottom ones through the brick. All right, so after you got these holes drilled, I still don't have these bottom two holes done, uh, but we're gonna come back to that. So it comes with these little anchor pieces here, kind of like what you would use in drywall. I'm, you know, I'm not banking on these yet. We're gonna use what's in it. We're gonna install it the way it says, and then we're gonna go from there and see what that does. I might end up getting some uh, metal anchors or something like that in the future. So pretty easy to install, put it on in, it says you can tap them, tap them in. They go in pretty easy. And then the, the screw will go right through those. And then they expand a little bit to kind of anchor it in there. So. so it turns out I actually had the wrong drill bit. That's why it wasn't working. So I went down, got myself the right kind of drill bit. This is for brick and that sort of thing. It's a masonry, masonry, whatever. I'm a detailer. I don't do construction work, unfortunately. <laughs> so try to make sure if you're doing something like this, get the right drill bit. Unlike what I did, learn from my mistakes. That's why I'm watching, you're watching a video, hopefully. Anyway, here we go. take our wall anchors so that vibrates the whole camera hopefully that uh probably messed up the shot there anyway now we're ready for the mounting process. All right guys, so after a little bit of uh, frustration and um, just messing with it a little bit, I actually was able to get these brackets to work really well, uh, or the anchors, the plastic anchors. Um, this bottom one down here um, actually wasn't even lined up all the way. I actually had to kind of finagle to get that one in. And I, I mean, I drilled it based off of that um, template that it came with. So, and it still wasn't really lined up, but after I got that one to go in, after pushing it up there, to hit it at an angle, it went all the way in without twisting the plastic uh, anchor in there, which actually put pressure on all these other ones, all the other ones there. And then uh, I was able to drill in those without them spinning. So I was able to get it nice and tight, suckers on there really good. Um, we're gonna cut this little piece off here and we're gonna get the hose attached. Looks like it's gonna work out pretty well from what I'm seeing. in there well let's hope we're gonna just tighten them up by hand for now if I need to go any tighter I'll uh, go with a wrench so one of the other things I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be installing a dual spigot here or a dual attachment whatever you want to call it we're gonna put this on there, down there. Um, 
and then I'm gonna have one I'm gonna have the spigot attached to one side and then I'm gonna have a bucket filler attached to this side that I'm gonna make out of some old hose or something so all right let's get it going all right so one of the things I found this was just a cheap brass one from uh, from Lowe's just like all the stuff I purchased it at Lowe's so if you can see there I tightened it up on there once and this thing just got destroyed because it was leaking so I kept tightening it and tightening it as it was leaking and that's the result so went down here a little bit closer by bought some of these uh, hose washers and I'm just gonna put a new one in here and hope for the best with this situation maybe not the most exciting video I'm making here but you know what just want to document this in case anybody else comes across this. These are some of the little issues that I was not expecting. So if you're going to do something like this, buy an extra little set of this. It's, if you're a detailer, it's always good to have these anyway. You never know when you're going to need one of these. Uh, I guess I could, since I have it. We're going to use some Teflon tape here. Don't know if this is gonna make much of a difference with the tape on there, but we're gonna do it anyway. You can hear my kids inside going crazy, of course. All right, here we go. Second time around with doing this, like I said, when I did it the first time, it just leaked everywhere. That's one of my pet peeves, is stuff that leaks. That's why I went to quick disconnects. My pressure washer. So that it wouldn't leak. Alright, let's try that out. Hey, look at that, no leaks. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> All right. Hook this up. Good. Perfect. All right, next step is install the hose. All right, guys, so the hose that I'm going to be installing is a 100-foot Craftsman hose. I'm a huge fan of these hoses. I got a 50-foot uh, a one that I use for my mobile rig. Um, I've had to replace it once already, so it already paid for itself. Even if I would have bought a cheap hose, and then if, if it would have lasted as long, um, it, it doesn't beat their um, lifetime guarantee on these things. You get a hole in it or something like that, take it back to wherever you bought it uh, uh, or a craftsman dealership or whoever sells craftsman stuff i got it from ace hardware last time i got it from sears um goes bad take it in get a new one anyway this is a 60 dollar hose um the best one i saw when i was at like you know a lowe's or because that's where i bought the other stuff it was 50 bucks for a 100 foot hose but these ones I already know and trust. This rubber is uh, super pliable. So I'm gonna get this thing unraveled and then we'll get it installed. All right, one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna use some plumber's tape on here. Once again. This seemed to work good on the last one. All 
right, here we go. I'm gonna run some water through it so it's not as uh, flattened out. So this hose reel says that it's uh, 125 feet to 150. Excuse me, 50 feet to 125. All right, we're gonna try this again. I tried it once and didn't get it all the way. So, this hose is a little bit longer than I anticipated. I don't think I needed a 100 foot, so. I'll try to speed up this video, make it a little easier. All right, here's the finished product. Wrapped up there pretty nicely. Not too much of a pain after I got the actual hose undone. So I'm gonna put some uh, some nozzle heads up here. I'm gonna put a, a quick release on here so that it'll go into my pressure washer. And then my other nozzles will be sitting up here for if I'm not using the pressure washer, that sort of thing. And then we're gonna install a small little hose here to feed off of to fill buckets hey thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button right there stay tuned for more thank you